will guide you through how to fix an Android lagging. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. This problem can be really irritating as it makes your device hard to go and use, especially when maybe playing some type of game or something like that. So we've got some different fixes you can try. To go and get started, let's go and close apps running in the background. Come to the bottom and we can press on those three lines. What you can do is press close all and all apps currently open will be closed. The next thing we can try doing is making sure our device is not in some power saving mode as this can go and cause lag as the performance is being lowered to save battery. So drag down and we can drag down again. Here's power saving. If it's enabled, we can go and turn it off by tapping it. Go and see if that makes any impact. The next thing we can try doing is opening up our settings like so. What we want to do is just make sure our device is up to date. So we can go and scroll down and go and find the option for software update and tap there. And we can press download and install at the top and go and make sure we've got the latest update available. After you've done that, what we can do is go and make sure our device has got free storage. I found if the device is very low, this can go and cause lag. So what we can do is go and find the option for device care. And then we can go and find the option for storage. If you're struggling to find it, you can just search at the top, go and tap on it. You can see I've got 82 gigabytes available, which should be plenty. But if you have got very little storage left, then what we can do is go and clear some, we can go and see what's using it up and we can go and delete some of them. Go and see if that makes any impact. And what we can also try doing is performing a restart, just to go and refresh things. To do that, hold the side button on the side. And what we can do is press restart and restart again. When the device starts, go and see if the problem is solved. If it still isn't, then it's worth doing a factory reset as this just go and refresh everything. So we can go and open up our settings. And what you can consider doing as well is doing a backup of your device. So if we go and find the option accounts and backup, we can do a backup, just go and keep our data safe. And then you can go and scroll down and find general management and then scroll down again and find the option for reset. If you're struggling, use a search in the top right. At the bottom of reset, you'll see the option for factory data reset. This will reset everything to the factory default. And then you can see if it solves the problem.